Melissa here and Samuel and little William. Um, Samuel and I spent an hour at least um, redoing young William's playpen. It is ready? one, two, three, four, five panels by five panels. So I'm really not sure now how much that is. We can measure. Stop that then. Um, but we zip tied everything in place. And I also did this because my husband, I appreciate him helping, but my husband likes to constantly change things. I don't like that. So, since Samuel and I zip tied it, that way it can't be taken apart unless you were to cut all the zip ties off. So, and we decided on this setup, we decided each corner to have like a shelf, so to speak. We thought that might be, make it more stable on every end. And we took the two extra panels this way to make it more of like a tunnel, because he, you know, so he can run and go through this. But look at this adorable little Heidi house we got him. This is for cats, but I have a really soft blanket in there. They came with Velcro, so we could also in the future buy him a tunnel that will connect to this, that could lay here. We thought that was the best. That other little alcove over there is where his litter pan is. We did manage to get the blanket was nice and clean. That's our fault that we ended up getting some stuff on the blanket from hand stuff. But as you can see, William is enjoying some Oxbow freeze dried simple rewards, strawberry treats. About he's eating, his treats. he's eating them about a teaspoon or so. And we did check the ingredients only strawberries because that's what they said that we should look for. I really like the Oxbow brand. We did get sorry, I'm so sorry. We did get William another bag of his rabbit forage mix salad because he loves this and he only has like one serving left. And we got that pop-up house, so all that was $26, $28. But he likes the strawberries. Um, we haven't seen him yet go into his house that we got him. I think he, once he figures out that, see he's going in right now, that he's going to like it. That'll give him a chance to like hide with a really soft blankie in there. In this corner, I did just pick up a really soft, cheap from the Dollar Tree um, little bunny. I cut, I cut the ribbon off because I didn't want him choking on that. I am checking it every day to make sure he's not eating it. My friend Katie suggested that he needed a little stuffed, am <coughs> stuffed animal. Um, so, I really like this setup. Basically, I can still, you know, sit right here and he'll still, or even over here in this corner, and uh, he'll still be able to roam around. It may not be as big as the seven foot first one, but um, I think he's gonna like this more. My husband did have a different kind of a setup in one of them, and it was frankly, it was irritating to me because I have short arms and I could not, um, you know, get into areas that I needed to. So I think Sammy and I chose a really good design um, so, and we had to move Ivy's cat tree because she kept 
jumping from it into his playpen today and twice she almost jumped on him and that scared me. She was scolded. The tree is in the hallway now, so she can't do that. Finny, but you see what Finny's doing? Finny gets pushy and like pushes at the wall. But Sam and I were moving it around. It does not fall apart like it was before. If one of these happened to pop off, it's easy enough to push back down. Um, you know, there's, especially on these corner pieces, there's three zip ties holding this together, top and bottom, zip ties all the way around. So it's gonna be more sturdy. Cause we tried to move it and frankly, the whole thing fell apart with Sam and I because the weight and only having two people and not being zip tied. So we fixed it. it. Took us quite a while, but it's worth it. So if we decide down the road, say you were going on a family vacation, taking your bunny, you may want to purchase two of these. This set was $50. It did come with three or four metal pieces, which uh, for ramps, which we're not using. So this one is going to stay zip tied. So if I wanted another one that I could, you know, move and set up somewhere like if we're going on vacation, I would simply purchase another one. Hi, William. Don't eat your tunnel. Don't eat your hidey house. Let me see. I may move you guys so you can see them. Yeah, I'm going to move you guys. Hold on. Okay, guys, we're back. As you can see, he was in there. He just got out. This long area gives him room where he can run and go through that tunnel of his that he really likes, the one that's edible. I really think he's going to like this little, what did they call that, Sam? A pop-up tent or pop-up cube. cube. Um, it was $10.99, I think. So... And then you can buy, they had two different tunnels I guess we could have used. One was $13 and the other one was 20 something, um, which we might add to later. But I kind of like this because I can look in there and see him. And it's got, it has three circles, like one to the left where he can look out his window, to the left how he's doing now, in the front, and then to the right. I think we did good. I think he likes it. Still has, considering he is one tiny dwarf Big. lion head, he still has a huge, huge playpen area. So I'm not feeling too bad for taking some of his space away because this is a much better setup. Finny? Are you going to be in trouble? Are you going to start to listen? You need to calm down. Oh, as you can see, he's jumping. So, we're just going to let him have fun. We may or may not speak, but um, I think this is a pretty good sorry about that I'm just moving it a little this is a pretty good there we go um, shot for you guys so you can see him no matter where he's at it's not up and close but still um, let's give you give him some time to explore and that way you guys can see everything that he's seeing you can see the setup um, <laughs> any other, um, rabbit parents, um, I have a question for you guys. Um, I think just from ben. watching your guys' videos that I'm going to get a different kind of, um, litter because the kind that I got, Samuel, can you just pick a couple pieces? out and show them what it looks like in your hand. Um, I am not liking this. In fact, you know, I may try to sell it 
um, on Marketplace for whatever I can get. And then, see, it's all these little pieces of paper. The thing is, it's sticking all over William's hair. So, every time I go to get him out of his habitat to hold him and to put him in his, um, to hold him or to put him in his playpen. Sorry, I'm trying to get, ugh, this freaking couch got moved. I don't know what the deal is. You had to move it to get ivy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I don't really care for this litter. Yes, it's very, very soft. But at the same time, I don't like the fact that, just throw that in the corner, Sammy, uh, that it sticks all over him. Um, the guy at PetSmart today, with where we bought those three items, he was stating that William could possibly eat it. I don't know. I don't, you know. I mean, honestly, if he would shred his toilet paper roll, which people said to put in there for, you know, what's the difference? I don't really think that it would cause him any issues. It's just more of an irritant to me because of sticking to all of his body parts and he keeps Finny calm down he keeps um, getting it in his water bowl so I'm constantly uh -huh. um, changing the water so I'm from what I have watched videos the consensus as far as I can tell is people really like pellets litter pellets we have a feed store in Lebanon but they don't sell them anymore bulk. When we had ferrets eight years ago, they did. They don't sell them anymore. So, that bedding was anywhere from $10, 12 to $15. So, I may just post it and say, you know, teeny little, I mean, you can see a teeny tiny amount was taken out. Get whatever I can get out of it and then just put it towards, you know, some pellets. I'm not going to use wood shavings. I think that would be the same thing irritant and I'd have to be more careful with that but I think young William is enjoying he is spending a lot of time in that little cozy cube I've got a super soft Hello Kitty blanket folded up he is I'll say it with peanut peanut uses Hello Kitty blankets and he is you're perfectly fine with pink aren't you honey bunny say yeah now I'm all man. I don't care. So I picked a really soft blanket for him. Smaller type, but it's folded up to make it more plush for him. I really think he likes this setup. I like how the uh, litter pan is in the corner with that other three-sided around his litter pan. I'm gonna move something. Okay, honey. I think he would be better with it like this. Okay, that's fine. Because it looks like he wants to run through here. Oh, okay. But he's stopping. Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're always trying to figure out the best place for his tunnel because he does enjoy running through it. The other tunnel to the left of his litter pan is broken because Finn or Emma broke it. So we kind of have it in there as something he can stand on. Um, he kind of need it kind of needs to be not so close to a wall because he runs through it really good. Do you think that's too close to that wall? Well, he'll like flop into it. Yeah, that's good. So, um, 
Yeah, I think those four corners, how we did it with the pieces on top, adds stability to it. I was seriously considering buying a second set and making a double layer. My husband does not like the idea because for one, I would have to leave one spot where I would be able to get into it because I don't have, I'm not a tall person. So I really would not be able to climb in if it was two layers high. But I don't know. You should buy like a, like a GoPro. Like sit it in here and like record at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your father and I mentioned about Look, young William, he's eating his strawberries. Oh, yes, I have a question for you rabbit parents. I'm, what do you think? I'm seriously wondering about this because a lot of people were saying um, freeze dried banana chips, only bananas, freeze dried strawberries, only strawberries. How many, do any of you have a dehydrator? Do you do your own? fruits like this for your bunny because I'm thinking this you know certain times of the year you just can't get strawberries and you know so what if you bought some of this stuff that you can only get at certain times of the year and freeze dried some of it and kept it in sealed packages is anyone doing that for their bunnies and he is eight weeks old today so um, I have to do some more research in my books and I want to see what the best thing to start him on fresh vegetable wise yesterday I did give him um, some carrot top greens um, he really didn't seem that interested when I gave it to him but throughout the day when I checked on it again um, he ate it so he only had one of those, you know, one top of a carrot. Like my husband chopped it off the carrot and we had the carrots for dinner and he saved the, um, the tops for me and I gave it to him. So I'm gonna do some research with my books or asking some of my friends who have rabbits, what's the first thing I should give him? Because some of his salad mix and some of his food has like dehydrated carrot chips in it. So he's already had those for two weeks because it was in his food. His ju you know, juvenile bunny food. So we're gonna do research that and then uh, go to the store and get him something. One thing, because I heard you're supposed to, you know, do one thing to make sure he doesn't have any issues. think so. Oh, he ate all of the strawberries. They're gone. All right, young William, you can't have any more of that today, but you know, I think it was at Petland where I bought him. Let me get it. These, they're almost like a hard cracker or cookie type thing, but not Okay, sunseed, uh, garden patch. He really liked these. They were shaped as like little flowers and you can't really see it, little carrots, but they did not have this at PetSmart. So, once those are gone, I'll have to go back to Petland and get him some more of those. He really, really likes these. He's almost out of those. This is the very first 
package of Timothy Hay that we bought him. It's down to here. This was the All Living Things um, Rabbit Forage Mix Salad. He loves this. There is only this little bit left for like one more serving. So that's, we bought him a new bag. This is his Young Rabbit Food Complete Nutrition that we got him, Sunseed. Um, he loves this. And this was the other package of Timothy Hay Plus with carrots. So we also use this. So like I said, for two weeks he's been getting carrots because it's been in his baby food, juvenile food, and then a week later we bought him this. So he is going through his stuff. Oh, we didn't put his thing in. Mm -hmm. We didn't put... Oh, yeah. Yeah, put his oxbow playset. He loves that. All right, Sammy, you figure out. Just not too close to his tunnel that he likes to run through. I mean, you can see. He is very spoiled. He has tons of toys. And I was wondering if why he wasn't playing with certain ones if maybe it could be that he's overwhelmed with too many toys i don't know that is again another question for other rabbit parents oh i'm so happy that we went with that samuel he loves that He can sleep in there. It's nice and comfortable. I see. I might go in closer so you guys. Bear with me. right now you can see him inside of there he's giving himself a bath you know I really enjoy watching him I don't always get in there with him and take up space you know um, don't get me wrong I do get in there with him and interact with him but there's other times when I just like to watch him you know, and let him do his own thing. It's relaxing. And it's funny and it's cute. You look at me, peanut. You look at my hands. thinking that might be 60 inches by 60 inches. I'm going to check. So it's, oops, okay, it is two inches shy of being six feet. So his other setup was seven, over seven feet by four and a half feet. This way, 70 inches by 70 inches. I think that's a really nice size. 
play set. Or a play area for one teeny tiny rabbit. So, he's certainly not crowded, that's for sure. think if there was anything else that I wanted to ask. So you guys, what do you think about the setup? I like it. Just chilling in there. We made a good choice. You know, Samuel, another option was we could have got a really small dog bed, which they had, but I think this is nice because with the three port type holes, you know, where he can look out, they don't usually have those in the little pet beds. I think William likes it. Oh, you guys, too, another thing that on the four corners, the way they are, I thought um, technically I could hang on the corner that's pointed towards the inside of the playpen. Technically, I could hang stuff off of it. You know, like his salt lick or, because his salt lick's in his um, habitat and he's got two other hanging toys that he likes to nibble on. And we've got two blankets two nice thick blankets on the floor. The sheet is nice because it was covered everything, but notice that he was sliding a lot. So these two thicker blankets, he should be able to get more kind of traction, but still pet rabbit parents, please. What, what would be a good choice for a mat underneath something like this? that, you know, something that could easily be um, clean, cleaned up. I'm really curious um, to know. Like I said, I bought a pad that go, you know, to go under a high chair because it was half the price of the same type of thing for a pet. That didn't work because all he wanted to do was chew on it. Um, he likes the sand. So I really don't know. I really honestly don't know because, you know, right now we're just going to use the blankets. We've got, like I said, we have tons and tons of blankets. Because I'm a blanket gal. I have, you know, I'm really weird about my blankets. They have to be soft and I've got tons of really soft blankets and we've got tons of blankets for the dogs so for right now until we figure it out we're just going to use blankets Put your phone on. let me check and see how much time we're at i think the little baby might be going to sleep oh 
honey. It makes me so happy that you're happy. Okay, everyone, I think what we're going to do is end the video because he's chilling in there. And I don't think he's going to be running around anymore. I think he wants to relax. He's um, in a really good position in there where his legs are thrown out behind him. So we're going to let him sleep if he wants or whatever. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I hope you're enjoying <laughs> these videos of William so you can see him grow. Like I said, he is eight weeks old now. And we're going to start introducing vegetables. So give me some tips, please. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.